What's up guys? Welcome back to the Montyverse. Today we're checking out episode 2 of season 2 of What If. What if Peter Quill attacked Earth's Mightiest Heroes? And not gonna lie, I saw this episode, pieces of it in the trailer, mm -hmm. and this was one of my most anticipated episodes of the season, so I'm really excited to check this one out. This sounds wild as a concept, but I'm ready to go. Are you? Yeah, let's just jump right into it. Starting episode 2 of What If season 2 right now. I like how it turns animated. Yeah. I think I missed that the first time. <laughs> I did too. I think I just acknowledge how fast it was. Cannot allow it to enter USS base. Copy that. Weapon time. Fire at will. That's Peggy. It sounds like Peggy. It does. Listen, I'll know, I know Peggy's voice anywhere. <laughs> Peggy's my girl. Contact. The object is hit. It's going down. Where? Oh, oh, New York, baby. The Jazz Club. Everyone knows the famous Jazz Club. Oh no, aqua water. Oh no, water. So water, water, basically. <laughs> is it supposed to be Grand Central? Yes. Oh, this is actually where the Avengers assembled oh. in the Avengers movie. That's actually where they had the spinning montage. I was gonna say that would track for this episode. Yeah. Okay, so he's is that much a younger. Yeah. Oh. And the entire universe along with it. Oh. oh. What was, I forgot, it's been a while since I watched Guardians 1. What year did he, was he taken by Yondu? 80, that's a good question. Cause was, this is 88. It was, it was earlier than 88. It was 80, I want to say 86. So he's like a preteen teenager at this point. It might've been 88. I, okay, so then he's still, he's still a kid then. It might've been 87. I feel like it's 86, 87, but I could be wrong. Mm -hmm. Case in point, very young. Yeah. Why am I thinking 83 now? I think it was 83. When did Footloose come out? When did Footloose? Yeah. I want to say 85 or 6. Then it was 86. Or 84. Six months earlier, the Ravagers were dispatched okay. to abduct... Okay, so it was like 87. I was right, 86, 87. <laughs> I love how he talked about all that for literally nothing. <laughs> and they just... Yandu never had his change of heart. Yandu was so just he a dick. So he turned Peter over to his father. Hmm... As ego. Man, he looks you young. Won't be needing these anymore, Peter. <gasps> That's oh. Ego called it the expansion, a long-held dream to remake the universe in his image. And with I feel son, like Adam young son, Peter would have been more emotional about that. Yeah. Than adult Peter. Steps across dozens of nearby solar systems, all destroyed. Mm. Project Pegasus. There you go. And I thought my kid was a pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Cold War, all that we are the world garbage doesn't really play outside of MTV. Oh my god, MTV is that old. Okay. Who's on our roster? Who we got? Um there's no vegetable. <laughs> the potato chips are Oh, that's a little hope. Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> and you're supposed to be a scientist. And you're supposed to like potato chips. <laughs> I mean, it's funny, but it's also sad. It's very sad because of Janet not being there. And, and he's trying, but he just doesn't know how to be a, a person. Dad. Yeah. Turn on the TV. What? Dad, you should see this. <sighs> Send the plane. <laughs> hey, honey, you want to go to work with Dad? <laughs> so he's bringing... Oh, I guess he has no other choice. Well, how old is she? Like... Could she not stay home by herself? Things must be real bad if they have oh. the balls to call us in. Foster. Whoa. Great. Now I know it's a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I understand you even donated some vibranium to your efforts. Yeah, we made a shield out of mm. it. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> so he sent the Winter Soldier, oh. the world's most deadly assassin. Oh. Oh, snap. Like Bucky. I'd heard the rumors, but... Even if they're oh. true, the man we knew is long gone, Peg. And we have oh my god. Wait, 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 she could recognize him with the mask on, but Steve couldn't? <laughs> That's wild. That's just how good she is. Yeah. He's on the move. Heading towards Coney Island. And if we don't get there... Well, they also mentioned rumors, so maybe she already had an inkling about it. I mean, listen, she, we know S.H.I.E.L.D. is Hydra. Not in my ride. Dr. Wendy Lawson, USF. A.K.A. Marvel. 
That uniform doesn't really look like Air Force. It's not. It's Kree Star Force. What? Explain on the way. Great. Ah, this is so cool. It is really cool. Silent but deadly. And that's such a. It makes the title so good because it's almost misleading. Yeah. Because you think Mightiest Heroes, you think Avengers. The Sacred Timeline Avengers. Yeah, but it's in the present day. But it never says the Avengers. It just says Earth's Mightiest Heroes. Right. And these are them of this time period. <laughs> Aww. He was taken in by Coney Island. This is the cleanest I've ever seen Coney Island look. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, let's go to. Oh, rocket or just a, a raccoon. He does not look all that threatening. Superpower that masquerades as a third world country. Oh, oh, that's unnecessary. F the rest of them. I know. Yeah, I made some adjustments. I figured it's the end of the world. Nice. Go home. Goliath. Measuring your statues, <laughs> <laughs> that feels a little bit like a throwback to Ant-Man the Wasp. Well, yes, that was Cassie's original name in the comics. Oh, I meant Hope's line about comparing sizes. Oh, okay, yeah. What's the matter, kid? Something Yeah. Buggy? Oh, man. I wonder if Ant Antony survived in this timeline. Aww. For the, for the extra week that he would live. <laughs> That's not creepy. Oof. I've never been one that was afraid of clowns. Definitely creeped out. Yeah, pretty creepy. There's no Joker in this universe. Uh. <laughs> I guess that's a good thing. Oh. Aww. Dark. And he destroyed the others. More difficult, my young friend. Oh. Oh my god. Well, thank god he's wearing a suit of vibranium. Pull back, killer. If the cube in that jet blows, there won't be a planet left to save. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that's the Oh no. Oh no. She can't fly. Oh. I love the score too and they're sampling the, the brief samples of like different variations of the Avengers theme. Man, I didn't even know he was in this episode. Is it him though? It has, I mean. Yeah, there he is. <gasps> Who the hell is that guy? <laughs> really, you? If you are referring to your doom, then yes. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were the dude from Van Halen. <laughs> Van what? <laughs> One by one, the armies of the Nine Realms perished oh. at that boy's... Wait, how is that built already? They built that for the Hulk. Earth was all that remained. Well, surely if you've come... Maybe they were working on it while they were getting him? The seedling is protected by a veil of cosmic energy. Only a being of celestial origin can penetrate it. Well, oh gosh. lucky for us, we have one in custody. So <laughs> nice. I didn't take hope for someone, a music lover. <laughs> okay, whoever's supposed to be watching her is doing a terrible job. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I think this, I think the reason why this hope is a little bit more friendly is because Hank was actually there for her. Yeah. Because didn't, didn't she say he shipped her off to boarding school or something like that? I mean, he definitely, like, basically abandoned her. Yeah. You know, you don't seem so bad, given where you're from. Hey, what's wrong with Missouri? My dad. <laughs> where are my particles? And where's Hope? And where's my key card? Oh no. Dude, you're really bad at yeah. keeping track of things. Well, it's like, if no one was watching her, what was the point of bringing her in the first place? Yeah, I mean. Thank you, Dad. Oh, God. <laughs> that was crazy. And here, I want you to have this. Aww. Aww. Oh, the second they showed her with it, I knew it was gonna come back. Well, obviously. Thanks, Hope. I owe you one. Oh. <sighs> Hope is kind of dumb. Yeah. This guy did destroy half of New York. Peter's not behind all this. It's his dad. Blame the absentee father. I get that. Oh God. Because <laughs> you are an absentee father. <laughs> we need to study him. We need to kill him. Oh, that's is definitely not. Without the seedling. Well, that's not Sebastian Stan. So long as the boy lives, this planet will never be safe. Wait, and is that not that's the first time Thor and Bucky have ever interacted. 
Yeah, that's wild. That's wild to think about. You want me to tell you where he went? Then you have to promise me you'll help him. Didn't they are? Did she not already tell them Missouri? Yeah, but he probably told her exactly. Oh. Peter. Why can't I connect with my Aww. son? Even animated young Kurt Russell has amazing hair. Yes. <laughs> Is the implication that he was kind of that he was actually aging chronologically? Because he's purposely younger looking here. I know the the. It's he appears in the visage that he thinks works best for, like, that's why he made himself look like whatever planet he visited. Peter, when he thinks dad, he's not going to think of someone who's the same age as him. Right, yeah. He's going to think of someone with gray in their beard and their hair. So I think that's how they cheated the, his appearance. Okay, yeah. Well, guess that's the dad. Girl was right. <laughs> Wouldn't I love to have that printed on a t-shirt? <laughs> <laughs> Love it. That's that's very in character. You really think a child is going to be so willing to fight his own father? <laughs> what? You're not a parent, are you? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good joke. That's true. Oh, God. How well do you think this is going to go for them? Probably very poorly, <laughs> if I had to imagine. You've taken something from me. I'd like it back. It back? Lovely. <laughs> Thor's gonna get wrecked. I was gonna say, he probably would have the best chance. Yeah, not even close. This is a, an ego in the MCU is a celestial. Yeah, but the rest of them. Until every part of you is me. Uh, Gross. Yucky. Gross. Bad touch. Bad touch. We will take it from you. Oh man, the putty patrol. <laughs> Except it's the ego putty patrol. Man, this animation is is a, I feel like it's a vastly improved from season one. I think yes. It, I think it looks a lot better. This cell animation. Yeah, like the style is the same, but I think there's more detail. Yes. Like, I like the shading a lot. Yes, I was about to say there's definitely more use of shadow and shading. Like you can tell easily with Peggy compared to how she looked in season one, even. Yeah, a lot more detail. Oh my gosh, Megazord. <laughs> Winter Soldier, do you copy? Oof. Where'd this guy go? Oh no. Oh, you idiot. It's not me, it's him. He has this power to, to get inside my head. <laughs> oh my, oh, oh no, shit. he's getting reversed Ant-Man. Oh, that was, that was smart. Mm. That was, was actually that, cool. Yeah. Damn, this is actually pretty sick. This would have been sick in like an Avengers movie. Stay tight. Stand down, soldier. It's just you and me, pal. There is no me. Oh, man. And to be honest, neither have I. The pain. Oh, is she going to adopt anger. him? I, I was literally thinking that. I know it can feel like. Bucky, when you see that kid, all you see is a target, but I see a future, a life he can lead. How come you didn't say who the hell is Bucky? You don't <laughs> know me. Steve Rogers did. And the man he knew, the friend he loved, oh. would never take that shot. Come join our family. Aww. Who would have who would have thought the, the thing that Hank needed was therapy this entire time? <laughs> I think that can be said for a lot of characters. Oh. I thought he was going to do it for a second. Oh, I 100% did. Because I feel like it would be too much of a cop out for everyone to be end happily. I thought Hank was going to get shot. That was a chance. That was a possibility, too. Oh, no, Peggy. Oh. I hope you're right about this, kid. Wait, how could he shrink Peter? Huh? Uh, celestial, don't matter. Peter's technically celestial at this point. You know what? Just ignore the logic. But I knew if she were to live, the expansion, the reason for our existence, would never come to pass. So I did what I had to do. Oh. As you must now, Peter. Scumbag. You killed my mother? You know you don't have the power to destroy me. But you do. Peter. And with this? A little bit of you will always live inside of me. 
Gross. You are human after all. My mom says I'm a Star Lord. <laughs> oh, did, did he just do the spirit gun from Yu Yu Hakusho? <laughs> sick, sick, sick. What if, with our first anime reference of the season? Oh, nice. Wow, Hank Pym of all people being the better dad. Hank Pink. The atom. To be honest, splitting the atom is a lot more intuitive. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call it? Uh, light beer. <laughs> Another. <laughs> I thought maybe you kids might like to have. Aww. What? No, keep the flurkin away. Yeah. See no to a free cat. <laughs> I, knew I, I knew I liked Peter. The Winter Soldier may be out there, but I'm pretty sure Bucky Barnes is out there with him. Aww. Interesting. This is me. He'll have to wait. Now he has to wait for Steve. Yeah, he'll have to wait a while for Steve. So we have sort of a team thing going on here. Then I wow. suggest you suit up, team. Aww. I think I don't <laughs> think you should bring the kids. Or at least not the one that doesn't have powers yet. That's true. See, that was a fun episode. That was, that was a, a really blast. great episode. That's like. Probably the first one of the first ones I've watched that I think could have been a great movie, even though I wouldn't want it to be ruined by dragging it out. There's just so much to unpack in that. Like, yeah, I was going to say the first thing is like, man, like the impact on Asgard. Um, just they, they threw a lot at us, but it's it's fun because we already know we we already have these things in our head from the, the live action. Yeah, yeah. So we can kind of visualize this in live action because all the pieces are there. Yeah, you're right. We can kind of fill in the gaps, so to speak. Yeah. Uh, oh, that was a that might this this was a, this was definitely if, out of the two so far. I like this one a lot more. This is one of my favorites, easily. Not that the first episode was bad. I love that little no uh, but... Blade Runner homage of an episode, but this was it was just really fun. It, this felt very comic booky to it, me. It was, but. It was such a delight. And it was so cool because there's so many characters that they focus on that we otherwise never see. And honestly, everyone, I think, played a pretty good part. Because this was a stacked cast. Yes. Uh, speaking of casts. I oh. think the most surprising thing is that that was actually Sebastian Stan as the Winter Soldier. I mean, he didn't have that many lines. That so. did, But that sounded so far removed from how I'm used to him sounding. It sounded... Yeah. I, it sounded like it was just Sebastian Stan talking and not him doing his Bucky voice. Yeah, but looking at, because we're looking at it now. So other than um, Annette Benning not returning, it looks like everyone else. Yeah, I mean, Kurt um, Russell, John Slattery, Haley Atwell, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I can't, I don't remember the actor who played T'Chaka technically in Civil War. Um, I don't remember the actor's name either. Right. But otherwise, like every But other it's not him. He passed. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, um, I didn't know. Yeah. But no, other than him and uh, Annette Benning, uh, they got all these heavy hitters. Yeah, definitely. They got the, well, obviously, like, Jeff, I, I wish we would see more of the Watcher, though. I feel like yeah, we're he, not getting a lot of Watcher, even though all he does is really watch. Well, I'll say this, because, yeah, he had a s very minor line in this episode. It felt so shoehorned in. Yeah, I mean, I... I think Jeffrey Wright does such an amazing job as the voice of Uatu, and I really want him to get to play the character more. And yes. I'm sure as the season goes on and things get more serialized, we'll mm. start to see connective tissue. But, like, he's kind of just there at this point. He's kind of just watching. Well, and that might be the intention, because that's what had happened last season, too, is that yeah. he really played almost no role until much later. Yes. And then it got considerably larger. Um, so they're probably doing something similar, but... At this point, since we're familiar with him, it definitely feels weirder that he's more background, but I'm sure that will change. Um, and real quick, Scott Menville! Scott Menville was in the cast, uh, yeah. who you may know as the voice of Robin from Teen Titans and Teen Titans Go. Nice. And also, apparently, he was in Full House. Yes, I just educated Monty <laughs> about this today. Yeah, well, y'all, you, but you look, look, you have a you have a murderer's row of talented voice actors, mm -hmm. including the likes of Matthew Wood, famous for his all of his work with Star Wars and Lucasfilm. Mm -hmm. uh, you have again Fred Tattasor, who's yeah. famous for his work with Marvel. Like literally, dozens of great voice talent are yes. involved in this series mm -hmm. beyond just the 
people that they bring back from the live action. So they're, they are casting very talented people on yeah. both fronts, from both worlds, yeah. to work on this series, which I really like. I think they did a great job of that. I think the animation is a huge step up from season one, yeah. even though they're using the same cell shaded like animation style. Right. Uh, overall, I think it's a huge improvement so far. Absolutely. Honestly, I just adored this. Because I always, I always tell myself I'm going to rewatch every piece of the MCU, and some of that has happened with others not. This is one I would be very excited to go back to. Definitely. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date on all of our latest content. If you want to check out our other reactions to Marvel's What If, click the link on the page. And until next time, guys, stay versed.